Um, put a thumbs up if you are new to planbook.com. I'm so happy, Kristen. I'm really excited to share this with you. I've been using it for a couple of years now, so hopefully I'll be able to give you some insight and some cool tips. All right. Well, I am so excited to share with you today. I will flip the camera real quick. Good morning. I'm so excited to see everybody here. Um, thank you for sharing. Hopefully we'll get a few more people in here so I can share this with you. Uh, just so everybody knows, I started a YouTube um, page. So I've been putting a couple of my videos on my YouTube. I don't really know much about it, honestly. But I will be putting this on there after I'm done. So if you miss it or you want to go back and take a look, it'll be there. Um, I'll have to see what the address is. I think it's Stacy Hemphill, but I'm not exactly sure. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around and please feel free to ask questions as I go. Um, I just want to give you a quick glimpse on to what it looks like. So here we go. All right, so I'm actually, I got to tell you guys, I'm extremely nervous for some reason today. I'm literally shaking, so that's probably why the camera is not very good. Uh, I have been using planbook.com for, gosh, I think this might be my, my fourth school year with it. I like it because um, it's I can access it from home, school. I, they have an app now that you can get on your phone, so you can edit from your phone. And if you're absent one day, you can quick edit your lesson plans and you can um, send them over to your teammates or they can even access if you feel comfortable giving them your, your username and code. Um, so, uh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm very nervous. So I like it because I can edit it from anywhere. Um, I also like it because you can roll over your lesson plans from the previous school year when you are setting up your new school year. You don't have to, but I do because then I can see what I was doing at this time, see if I'm ahead of the game, behind the game. It's really quick and easy just to, to quick change my lesson plans um, just a little bit from what they were last year. So first thing I wanna show you, this is my, my plan book from last year, the first week. Um, Something cool when you're setting up your plan book when it, you don't have anything going, I highly suggest going to the go to button and down to templates. It's very efficient if you create a template. So you go to add template and then you can decide um, where you want to add the template. I had already added classes and I guess maybe I should go back and show you guys that real quick. Let me cancel, close this real quick. You can create classes. So for me, I have end of the day classes, math, math RTI, morning procedure, reading block. You can create every single aspect of your day. Um, I have all the different specials, all of that stuff. And then you can assign when they happen. So if you notice right around here, this is my, my specials grouping. So they only happen once a week. So that's why it's only ha has one check mark. So it'll only show up in my plan book once a week. And then you can also give each portion of your day a color. Um, I've done a color for different every different aspect before, and then now I've changed it so um, my specials are one color. Writing is a color because I have my writing in the afternoon, and I also do a writing mini lesson in the morning, um, and then. Reading, I have as purple, so you can just group it like that if you want. So after you create your classes, you can add a class here up at the top. After you add in all of your classes, then that's when you go to your templates. And this, I'm telling you, you guys, do this. This way you do not have to recreate your lesson plans every week. So if you go to add template, you can decide what class you want to add the template for. This really comes in handy for me during my reading block. So if I want to do a new template for my reading block for Monday, you can see you can do it every day. You can do it just certain days. And do you want it to be a lesson? Do you want it to be a homework template, notes, sub notes? 
the list goes on and on on what it can be. So I want it to be a lesson and I want this to happen every day. So it goes to the start date of my school year and the end date of my school year. And I can type in on Mondays, let's see, I do whole group reading of the story. And then here I like to just create a blank and I even highlight it. Got to remember where the highlight was. I think this is it. I highlight it. So in my lesson plans, it'll come up as a highlighted area and I know that that is the portion of my template that I need to change every day. So let's see, whole group reading of the story and then we'll, I'm just making something up right now. Workbook page. Again, I'll do, the, oops. Well, of course I'm going to look like a liar right now. <laughs> I'll do this up here real quick just for the sake of showing you this real quick. Workbook page, and then I'll highlight that also, and save it. So when I go to, back to my plans, you will see it shows up. Oh gosh, guys, it's been a while. <laughs> I don't know where it went right now. Let me go back to my templates. I'm looking like a doofus right now. Reading block. Did I save it? <laughs> Reading block. Lesson. I'm sorry. I'll do test. Test. <laughs> And then we'll do the line. Please apologize, or um, take my apologies for this not working that first time. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Oh, I know what happened. Right now, my my class book is set up for August 12th. So if I went to my back to my plans. I'm sorry guys okay well you get the idea of what I'm talking about so what you do is you double click where your template is and then you uh, can highlight over where you've highlighted and you could say your mini lesson is going to be on short a today and so I have it set up where I have a mini lesson and then I have a rotation of daily five and in my small groups, maybe I want to focus on um, reading short A words within the text, something like that. So then you save and it shows up in your plans. Any questions so far? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably not showing you the best tutorial on this right now. I, <laughs> I'm a little rusty after a summer break with this. So if you go through, you can add in, see I've added in notes because we are required to have standards and objectives posted every day. It's amazing. <laughs> so I've added that in my notes where my principal can find it if he do, ever does a walkthrough. I've also added notes on what happens during um, my RTI time, who goes and who stays in case I have a substitute. Um, also, I let my substitute know when an adult is going to be in my room. Um, and you can also hide some things, like if you don't want to see um, your notes, you can take them off and it took it away. It took away the regular notes and then you can also take away the sub notes and see it takes it all away so um, you can keep this on your computer if you wanted to my principal requires us to print it out so they have changed this a little bit since last year you can hit the print button and then you can decide what you want to print if you're going to just have a substitute for the day you can hit day they don't need to know your standards descriptions or the standard IDs or anything like that and then you would hit print. That's something else I wanted to show you guys. So we are required to have standards and if you see there's a place for lessons, homework, notes, sub notes, standards. 
and there are standards in here. I'm from Indiana, so I have the Indiana standards pulled up, but they have the standards for every state. Um, I'm pretty sure they have Common Core. There it is, Common Core. So then if you're in grade one, you just click whatever you want. If you want foundational skills, you can, they're, you, they're all right there. You just click. If you're working on this, click it. And you can click multiple at a time, actually, and hit apply. And so those are the standards I chose. You hit save. And when you are viewing that in your lesson plans, you would change it over here to standard ID. So there they are. And if you want the full description, you can hit standard description and it has everything right there. It's so efficient. Uh, yeah, I believe it's $12 or $12.99 a year. And if you get, I believe, 10 teachers in your building to sign up for it, then they give you a discount. So it's it's pretty good. I'm I'm very happy with it. I probably will never use another lesson plan book, even though it seems like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so I apologize for the the mistakes. I don't know what what exactly happened there. Um, so there's you can add events. I think I I went through when I just set it up today, and I can add in. Let's see. I've added in when winter break is happening, when we're working on records day, so it automatically blocks those out for uh, on your lesson plan book. So before I go, because I feel like maybe you guys think I wasted your time, I hope not. Um, is there any other questions, um, anything else you want to see? I would love to show you. You can um, look at this. It's just a day. This is Monday, so there was nothing on it. You can look at it a day at a time. You can look at it a week at a time. And I think this is new. You can look at it a month at a time. Well, there's nothing in July. <laughs> um, I've never seen this before. You can... Um, it comes... Unfortunately, it's like four pages when you print the whole week's worth. Uh, so yeah, it comes in four pages and it prints um, like Monday through Tuesday on the first two pages and then you can flip it and see the rest of the week on the other two pages. And I missed the, what the next question was. Can you guys ask your question again? I'm sorry. I'm curious what this list is. I haven't seen this. This is new too. Oh, so you can look at it in list form, too. That's interesting. Oh, and that's just the reading block. See, I'm learning, too. They changed it on me. Right, <laughs> I checked it right before I was coming on here to show you guys this. All right, well, if there are no other questions, um, then I am going to sign off. I am very thankful for you guys for coming today. I hope that you found this somewhat helpful. A nice little sneak peek into planbook.com before before making the plunge. I think it's highly worth it. You're welcome. And um, if you have any other questions, you can find me on um, Instagram at teaching underbar ever underbar after underbar 2012. I really need to change that. Um, and you can feel free to ask me questions there. And I think that's it. I will go back through there, though, and see if anybody else asked a question. And again, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel, too. I, I think it's under Stacy Hemphill, but I will put that on my Instagram when I figure that out. And I think that is it. Well, hello to the people just, that just joined. I'm actually signing off now, but if you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram. And I'm sorry, I never in introduced myself either. I'm Stacy Hemphill from Teaching Ever After. You can find my blog at teachingeverafter.blogspot.com. All right. Thanks, everybody.